One was interesting, the comments from the Anons in the threads uh, are better than the threads that I'm putting out and that everyone else is putting out. It's live in the comments sections. There's so many sharp people in there that just don't have a big following that are identifying stuff. Uh, this is one thing that I looked at that I thought was weird. Someone posted that the book names were weird. Little Princess, Kindergarten, Kindergarten. And this thing looked odd to me, Artificial Intelligence Future. I mean, that AI stuff, we know that's going to be the end of the world. And this word future here looks like it's photoshopped on. Right, which would mean that they photoshopped artificial intelligence and kindergarten and little princess and everything else. So that's what got me started looking back into the Wayfair stuff. And there's a ton of stuff on here, guys, if you want. Um, stuff is as crazy as uh, baby dinosaur pictures, mediocre drawings for $30,000 on Wayfair. Are you kidding me? Is this a Picasso? It makes no sense to why that would be 30,000. And I mentioned it in the last video. What they do is they hide this stuff in plain sight. They make it a price that no regular person would ever buy it. And then the pedos and the people looking for babies and children, the sex traffickers, know which sites to go to. It's kind of like what they used to do with, uh, fuck, Craigslist. Uh, how they would, you know, the pedophiles and, and everyone would hide on, uh, on a Craigslist. I'm a little bit buzzed right now, bear with me. So this is what they do. They overprice the shit out of things so that no one buys them except the people who know what the hell it is. And there's usually like one in stock, right? Baby album, $11,000. I mean, I would only make sense if it came with a baby, right? The dinosaur thing here, uh, each kid seems to be about $10,000 each. That seems to be the going rate. So I guess these creeps and freaks are trying to unload every child and person that they have. And it's buy three, get one. Sick, dude. This is real shit that's going on right now. This is not a joke. This is not a game, okay? And the only people covering this are us on the internet, the conspiracy theorists, the people that you guys seem to talk shit about. Meanwhile, this is what we do all day, studying this stuff, and we're cracking codes that the TV will not report to you. So here's a bookcase from Wayfair that I found. So I can't imagine anyone else has seen this because I'm like autistic with this stuff tonight. Uh, Wayfair.com, here's a bookcase. Notice that book, that picture frame right there. Haitian Friends. Very interesting, okay? We know Haiti is the sex trafficking capital of the world. We know that they have an extreme human trafficking problem. It's located right next to Epstein Island. Uh, anyone who knows anything about Haiti, it'll take you a two second Google search to figure that out. Uh, if you go here, there's another book that justice shall be done, rural children, blah, blah, blah. This isn't the bookcase I wanna focus on. I wanna focus on this one. This one has two of my things I'm digging heaviest into. Eiffel Tower, these books at the bottom, haven't gotten into that. But we have the Haitian friends picture here. And we have this book, which appears on multiple bookshelves on Wayfair. It's called Bloody Harvest. Um, you could put anything you want on these bookshelves, right? Like I assume most of this is somewhat Photoshopped or staged. So why would you put a book called Bloody Harvest? Why would you write Haitian Friends? You could put like a picture of a puppy with like a heart under it or like Jack and Jill, happy anniversary. But you decided to put Haitian Friends and Bloody Harvest when you could have put Think and Grow Rich or, you know, a cute kid's book or something like that. This is really strange, okay, that they chose those two things. Now, what I'm going to bring you to here, this is a, an app site that I use. It's called Photo Forensics. Um, this is... I, Give it away a little bit of my tricks here, but I'm doing it on purpose because I want you guys to be as good at researching as everyone else. All have the same tools. We're all on the same team here. This isn't about being cooler first. This is about unearthing this stuff. So photo forensics, what it does is it takes a photo and it basically enhances. You can see the difference in pixelation here when something is photoshopped on. All right. You'll notice it with almost every Trump Epstein thing that you'll see out on the Internet. But we see here Kim Jong-un is a normal picture, right? And then you see this. So what that tells us is Kim Jong-un wasn't holding a disc. He was holding something else. I'm sure you Anons online have better tools and stuff. Uh, if you do, please link them in the comments so that I can start using them. So you, you guys get it, right? The disc was fake in this picture. Go to another example. Uh, Weed Jesus here. This circulated the internet for a while. You could tell here that Jesus is fake. You see that? Obviously, Jesus doesn't appear on weed. Uh, all the drugs I've ever done in my entire life, I've never had Jesus appear on the drug, maybe in my visions, but not on the drug. So... That is Photoshopped. You guys get the point? Good. Okay, now we go to Photo Forensics and we look at the bookcase. This is very, very strange, all right? So if we look at the picture in the middle, the Haitian friends, notice it's all black, which means there is a real picture frame there. But notice where it is white, over Haitian and over friends, which means this said something else. And they intentionally put Haitian friends on Wayfair. And we know Haiti's a sex trafficking capital. You can see the books up here. Bloody Harvest was not the book that was there. They chose to write that stuff in. They chose to write in the book above it. So you guys need to research this book above it, The Justice 
uh, just to, sh I can't read right now. I'm reading through the phone. It's too small. And the Eiffel Tower, all right? Just to justice shall come or whatever the hell it is. Um, now the interesting thing here, I went to Amazon and I wrote in bloody harvest killing of, okay? Which is clearly noted on the book here. Bloody harvest says killing of something and I couldn't make it out. So I went to Amazon. Now what they're saying is that some of the product codes for the items that are on the site, they actually match and come up in kind of like these search engines for basically pedophiles and for them to basically buy children online. And um, some of these SKU numbers are actually coming back and showing, you know, younger girl pictures for them to basically purchase. And um, I showed y'all this picture from Tom Hanks' Instagram because that blood is wow. Who's ever seen blood that black before? And if you check Tom Hanks' Instagram, you know, people are going crazy under his comments right now um, because he's basically having a link to this stuff. Um, you know, everybody knows um, <laughs> he definitely has something to do with um, all of this, you know, sex traffic and child traffic and stuff because um, he was he was on Jeffrey Epstein's flight log as in, you know, visiting the island. Um, so clearly he has something to do with this and I find his Instagram page to be very strange. For years he's been taking pictures of like odd things that will be, you know, supposedly left on the street by people, you know, gloves, a woman's shoe, a child's shoe, just any like random piece of, you know, whatever that was just like left in the street by somebody. It's just really odd and strange that he takes pictures of that kind of stuff, you know. And um as we say, this kind of shit is done right in our eyes, you know, right in front of our eyes, right up under our noses. And we don't actually realize it until it's like, you know, the worst it can possibly be. So while everybody is worrying about Will Smith and Jada Pinkett, you know, relationship, we got shit like this going viral right under our nose that people aren't even really paying attention to. They're just making memes about the damn word entanglement. So, you know, you see how basically sheep that everyone is in this world, you know, not really paying attention to the things that really matter. So, um, yeah, you know, if y'all I'm I'm sure y'all may be hearing about this by now, so I'm just giving y'all these clips so you can go and search up some shit, you know, um share share if you can and just, you know, get the word out even more so we can know what's going on. But anyway, you know, um, we will be coming with more information. Anything that I find, I'll be sure to post it and share it with you guys. Um, so, yeah, Black Balloon, I'm out.